Stranger. Howdy. What's the matter, friend? Oh, I'm a nervous wreck, son. Don't ever study doctrine. You are kind of jumpy, Doc. Jumpy? You'd be jumpy, too, they had you running around day and night. What's the matter, town having an epidemic? You said it. An epidemic of lead poisoning. Oh, this must be a pretty salty town. Salty? <laughs> Got the fastest growing boot hill west of the Pecos. You don't say. Well, I do say. Maybe you can tell me where I can find Ted Cartwright. Ted Cartwright? <laughs> Works right over in the express office. Thanks. I'll see you again, Doc. In case that epidemic catches up with me. Not if I see you first. You can pick lead out of your own carcass. How's this, Dad? Looks all right to me. Isn't this better, Dad? Just a little to the right. Here? A little more. A little more. That's as far as I can reach. Oh! Who are you? Sunset Carson, ma'am. At your service. Put me down. Right now? Yeah, right now. Friends of yours? Never mind the funny talk. Drop your guns and use your fingertips. Get over and open that ball.
badly hit? No, just in the arm. I'll be all right. Yeah, just a nick. What become of that fighting fool? You mean shooting fool? He just dropped one of those hyenas from his saddle, and he's off after the other two. Come on, Helen, let's take him over to Pinky. nervous wreck. Shooting and killing, killing and shooting, shooting and killing and killing. I never saw such a place. Yeah, Simone was a decent place to live in when we founded it. Now look at it. A regular slaughterhouse. I wonder where it's all going to end. I can tell you where it'll end. In a ghost town. And as president of the Miners Association, I'm about to suggest that we shut down all of these mines. There's no use taking this gold out of the ground if we can't ship it. Last month, not one stage got through. Well, I'm doing all I can. I'm not blaming you, Sam. It's just too big a job for one man to handle. Well, why don't we get help from the marshal at the county seat? That suits me. You're welcome to another clay pigeon any time. That tall stranger did pretty well. Hey, Sheriff, that shooting number is bringing in a customer for you. More work for me. It never stops. Get them in. Wheel them in. Pull them in. Two out of three, that's what I call good hunting. Had to leave the other one outside of town, that uh, epidemic got him. Well, that's three out of three. A pretty score, son. And the kind of action we've been longing to see. I'm Frank Holden, president of the Miners Association. And speaking for the town, we're mighty grateful. Oh, they call me Sunset Carson. And this is John Burton, our express agent. Howdy, Sunset. And his daughter, Helen. We've already met. Yes, but not formally. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Carson. And that's not the half of it, ma'am. Oh, how about putting this bird on ice, Sheriff? And a lucky, wasn't you? You might call it that. Well, maybe you'll be lucky enough to find the cell keys hanging in my office. 
This won't take but a minute, then I was thinking maybe we could pick up where we left off before the interruption. Now that's the kind of a man we could use around here. That idea isn't exactly original with you, Dad. Do you think we can persuade him to stay? Well, seems like that wouldn't be so difficult. For you. Ted's driving. Something must have happened to Joel. Holy smoke, I'll bet the stage has been held up again. Whoa. Joel's inside. He's pretty badly shot up. Where'd they stop you, Ted? Johnson's Pass this time. Well, we also had some excitement in town. Three bandits tried to hold up the express office. And if it hadn't been for a fast-moving stranger, they'd have got away with it. He bagged all three of them. Good work. The murder informants? Say, if it hadn't have been for this youngster here, we'd all been killed. He sure would give them all he could. Come on, get him out. Careful now. Don't shake the lid out of him. Want to get enough to stuff a pillow. Easy. Hey, Sam, let you and I get mounted. Maybe we can still cut their trail. Uh, count me out, Frank. I've had enough. I'm quitting. Now, wait a minute, Sheriff. You can't just walk off and leave us without a lawman. But just the same, I'm doing it. Hey, you ought to make a good clay pigeon. Yeah, why don't you keep it? That's not exactly in my line. From the way you handled those three bandits, I'd say it was. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'd like to, but, uh... Just until we can get a marshal from the county seat? Ted! Sunset. Kid, you're a sight for sore eyes. When did you hit town? Well, I guess that takes care of the introduction. Oh, sure. We're old friends. That's the fast-moving stranger I told you about. Still plenty good, huh? Nice going. Ted, Sheriff Duncan just walked out on us. We'd like to have your friend for our next lawman. You think you could talk him into it? Leave it to me. Come on, you old gunslinger. We got a lot to talk about. Another interruption, but don't give up. I sure hope Ted's a good talker. Hey, you put on quite a show. And no admission. It's sure good to see you again, kid. That goes double with me. When'd you get out? About a week ago. It's been three years, Ted. It's a big chunk out of any fellow's life. Yeah, too big. Especially for something you didn't do. What do you figure on doing now? The first thing I'm going to do is to clear myself. That's why I looked you up. Me? What can I do? Ted, you know I was framed. Somebody planted those stolen cattle in our herd. Sure, but that's all I do know. And you haven't any idea who might have pulled it? Not any more than you, Sunset. If I could have done anything, do you think I'd have run out and left you flat? No, don't think you would. I wanted to stay around and help, but they'd have nabbed me too. Yeah, there's no use in both of us serving time. Look, there are a lot of places where you can go and start over. I got a little money saved. I was thinking of staying right here. You mean that sheriff's job? Why not? These people appear right friendly. They're in trouble. Maybe I can help them. You can't do it. I changed my name when I came here just to get away from all that. I know, Ted. It isn't pleasant having a jailbird brother hanging around. That's why I told him we were just old friends. And that's the way it'll be, unless you tell them different. Now look, Ted. This is my chance to get back on the right side. Some show you put on when we held up the stage. <laughs> and those saps in town think I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> you see anything the three boys had knocked over the express office in town today? They didn't knock it over, and we ain't gonna see them. Well, what happened? They've been put out of circulation for good. Oh, quit kidding. That sheriff... Who quit... said anything about the sheriff? That brother of mine hit town at the wrong time. Who do you mean, the jailbird? The same. In three years in the pen, didn't change his brand of shooting any. He nailed all three of them. The townspeople liked his work so well, they tossed the sheriff's badge right in his lap. 
That's not so good. Does he know that you're the one that framed him? Nah. He still thinks he's a brother as gentle as a lamb. The Sonora kid is a gentle lamb. Its fleece is black as coal. Nobody ask your opinion. What's eating you? I don't like your brand of humor. Next time I'll aim at your funny bone. Look here, kid. I've warned you about that trigger finger of yours, and someday it's going to wind you up on the wrong end of a rope. It's kept my hide in one piece so far. All right, but remember, I'm ramrodding this outfit, and I don't like that sort of stuff. All right, all right. What about the gold the boys didn't get? It's still in the vault, isn't it? I guess so, but it'll go out on the next shipment. When's that? Fifth of July. The fifth, huh? We'll use the same setup we worked today. Maybe. Now that Sunset Sheriff, he'll more than likely be riding guard. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's no use asking for trouble. Say, we'll just set our schedule up a day. You mean go after the express office again on the 4th? That's right. We'll really give them something to celebrate. But this time, we'll make sure there's no interference. Yeah. Ought to go in the barber shop. Got to look at myself in that long mirror. I'm a long silly, you know. How do I look now? Oh, swell, Mr. Pinky. Just like an undertaker. Oh, you're just as big a flirt as Miss Helen. <laughs> All the women in this town are flirts. <laughs> there. I bet I cause more of a fracas in this outfit than a bull at a china shop. You sure, sure will, Mr. Pinky. Uh, buy yourself some more sparklers. <laughs> you smell something burning? No, Mr. Pinky. I guess it's my hay fever. You sure do have a funny way of celebrating the 4th. <coughs> I have a nervous wreck. <laughs> prairie fire, prairie fire. The North Prairie's a blazing. How did it start? I don't know, but it's only a mile from my mind now. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. I wonder where Sunset is. You take this in, Dad. I'll go and find him. Sunset! Hello, Helen. Didn't you hear the shots in the street? Sure, probably some kids celebrating the 4th of July. Well, it wasn't. It was a call for men. There's a fire raging on the North Prairie. Prairie fire? You don't say. Yes. Ted and Mr. Holden and the others have already left. Well, they'll be able to handle it. Aren't you going to help? That's not exactly in my line of duty, are you? It's the duty of every able-bodied man. Well, that depends on how you look at it. Sunset, what's come over you? Well, to tell you the truth, Helen, right now my horse is eating. I don't like to disturb you. But as soon as he finishes, I'll ride on out. Well, I never... Find him? I found him all right. Then what's the matter? Matter? He had the nerve to sit there and calmly tell me that he'd go as soon as his horse finished eating. And the crowning insult was just as I was about to leave. He, he winked at me and he went... No. Must be something wrong. He would get over that vault and open it up. Hurry it up. That strong. 
phone box is kind of heavy, boys. Maybe you better drop it. Like those two embers won't be able to carry the strong box back in. Guess we'll have to do it, Mr. Burton. Well, that's over with. Guess I better see if my horse is finished eating. Sunset, I want to apologize to you for the way I acted in your office. I'm afraid I was pretty rude. You were pretty all right. How did you know the bandits were going to rob the safe? Well, after that cloudburst we had last night, uh, you see, well, wet grass just don't burn. You mean there wasn't any fire? Well, there was a fire all right. Only I figured it was started deliberately to get everybody out of town, leave the way clear for the holdup. Neat trick, if it had worked. Sunset, would you be interested in bedding down here permanent-like as sheriff? What about that U.S. Marshal that's on his way down from the capital? Oh, we'll stake him to a fresh horse and send him back. We've got all the protection we need. We'll be sure and have a real fresh horse for the Marshal. <laughs> to you two. You look like you ran into a buzzsaw. Yeah, two-legged one with a gun in each hand. And the gold is still in the express office. How come? Because the guy by the name of Sunset Carson ain't interested in prairie fires. He couldn't have been tipped off. Well, all I know is that wasn't any bad dream that Shad and I had. And Kirk and Moyer are on their way to Boot Hill. Look, they're having a dance in the tavern tonight. Everybody will be there. We'll have a clean trail of the express office. That's using your head, kid. They won't be looking for us again so soon. Yeah, uh, well, take it from me. That Carson guy is a mind reader. I'll jump up and you never come down. I'll swing that pretty girl around and around. And the left and the left, tell a man to back to your partner, the right and left grand. Partners are very friendly. How many to one and all number one couple each round the hall. All join hands in circus southwest. And a middle left to the old left hand and the back to your partner right and left grand. Great partners are very friendly. I'll jump up and you never come down. I'll swing that pretty girl around and around. Wait, partner, swing. How many to one and all? Number one couple, he drowned the hall. Back to your partner, right and left grand. Meet your partner in promenade. You know where, and I don't care. Take your lady for a little fresh air. Well, Sheriff, 
How do you like our town by now? Oh, I like it. The minute I stepped in the express office. So soon? Mm -hmm. I'm liking it more and more all the time. Well, that goes two ways, Sunset. Two ways? Yes. The town is very proud of you. You look kind of lonesome, Ted. Yeah, I have been ever since you hit town. Ted, we'll have our dance just as soon as I take some refreshments to Dad at the office. I'll do it, Helen. Hey, uh, wait a minute. You two kids grab yourselves another dance. I'll be big-hearted and do the honors of the refreshments myself. Ted, you're a pal. What you got? Something Helen sent over. Ooh, looks good. Don't, Ted. Why not? I think it's a good idea. Ted, what's the meaning of this? Have you gone crazy? Shut up and get over to that vault. I get it now. You've been with this gang all along. Well, you're the one that... I said shut up. Take it easy, kid. Get over there and open up. Hurry it up. Right. What do you need? No. Oh, please. How you doing, Pinky? Well, I ain't numb yet. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I wonder what's keeping Ted. I don't know, but he doesn't have to hurry back on my account. What about him? I'll take care of everything. Get going. No. No, Ted. Don't! You know too much, Pop. Gunshots. What happened, Ted? They shot Mr. Burton and robbed a vault. <gasps> There's nothing I can do, Miss Helen. Oh, Sunset. Mr. Holden, will you please take Helen home? <laughs> What'd they look like, Ted? I don't know. They wore masks. Well, come on, Sunset. Let's get going. Take it easy, Ted. What, you going after them? I'm handling this in my own way. So am I. I'll get those murdering coach if it's the last thing I ever do. Frankie? I thought I had this thing all figured out, but it backfired. I didn't count on anything like this happening. Bring it up, boys. We've got plenty of money now. Hi, Hello, Ted. kids. Did everything come off all right at your end? Without a hitch. What do you say we have a look? Sure. Trick seems to run in your family. What do you mean? Come on, kid, where's that gold? Well, McCord, you're crazy. Do you think if I had that gold, I'd be fool enough to show up here? Kid makes sense. That's right. 
somebody's made a sucker out of us. And it's not hard to guess who. Sunset. If you'd have let me take care of him the way I wanted to, we wouldn't be bothered with him now. Ease down, kid. We'll get rid of him when the marshal hits town. Yeah, that won't be so easy. He's a permanent fixture. He'll be wearing that sheriff's star till somebody puts a slug in his back. And that's just what I'm gonna do. Oh, no, you're not. And why not? You want two lawmen to worry about? There won't be two. There won't be any. How do you figure? Because we're taking that marshal off the stage before it hits town. And I'm riding in wearing his badge. Great. That takes care of the marshal, but we still got Sunset hanging around. But not for long. As marshal, I'm gonna show him up as an ex-convict and pin these gold robberies on him. Couldn't be otherwise with the U.S. Marshal inside. How do you do? I'm looking for Mr. Holden. Well, I'm Frank Holden. Glad to know you, Mr. Holden. I'm Fred Barry, United States Marshal. Glad to know you, Marshal. And this is Miss Burton. How do you do? How are you, Miss Burton? I heard about your father, and I'm sorry. Vicki Snyder, MD, DVM, and DVG, PDQ and COD, and TNT. Well, whittle down to size, that sounds like a pill peddler. Oh, shh. Shucks, can't you guess it? <laughs> Won't you come inside, Marshal? Thank you. Well, Marshal, I'm afraid your trip here is all for nothing. How's that? Well, you see, since we've called on your office for help, we've managed to get hold of a first-rate sheriff. Yes, we expect to keep him permanently. Sounds like he's in pretty solid. Well, bet you. Well, I'm glad to hear that, because with all the territory we have to cover, we're plenty busy as it is. Hi, Sunset. Reach, Steelbird. What is this, a joke of some kind? No, I'm afraid it's dead serious. You see, your sheriff here served three years in the Santa Fe Penitentiary for rustling. Oh, you must be mistaken, Marshal. Why, he's a... There's no mistake, Helen. I did serve time, but I wasn't guilty. That's not what the judge said. His presence here ought to help explain some of these robberies and, uh, the death of your father. Hold it, Carson. You mustn't believe anything like that, Helen. And why not? If you were on the level, why didn't you tell these people you were an ex-convict before you took that star? I did. I told Mr. Burton. Oh, Mr. Burton. That was very convenient, now that he's not here to back you up. Oh, Miss Burton, did your father ever mention anything about it to you? No. Well, that is... Well, maybe he did. I don't remember. It's the truth, Helen. Believe me. Carson, I'm relieving you of your star and arresting you on suspicion of robbery and murder. I rotted once in a cell for three years for something I didn't do. And I'm not repeating it. Get going. Oh. Wait a minute, Sunset! I still can't believe it. I can't either. He was my best friend. Now, that's plenty clear. An innocent man wouldn't risk his neck escaping the law. Well, Miss Burton, do you have any gold in the vault ready to go out? Well, yes. Quite a large shipment. About $50,000. You see, we decided it would be safer to try and ship it all through at one time. And I suppose that was Carson's idea. Why, yes. Sunset was going to go along as guard. That's very thoughtful of him. Chances are he's already tipped off his gang and they'll be waiting for it. But we'll show him a trick or two. When was the stage supposed to leave? Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Good. We'll ship it out in an hour, and I'll ride along his guard to make sure it gets through. I'll get the shipment ready right away. Thank you.
Good luck, Marshal. Don't worry, Miss Burton. We'll make it. I still can't understand that Sunset Carson. You know, I really believed in him. Gosh, I was just beginning to like him. <laughs> we certainly can pick him, can't we, Pinky? Can you imagine? A nice fellow like that. Fool as Helen, too. About time you showed up. What's the matter? Did your tongue get unhinged? What am I trying to say? Search me. Well, oh, yes. Well, what are you doing here? That uh, epidemic finally caught up with me. No, I won't help you, Sunset. You're no good. You're a scoundrel, a scallywag, and no, no good for nothing. No. And furthermore, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You. Oh, doggone it. Well, sit down, son. Let me look at that one. Just a scratch. We'll fix that in a jiffy. I bandaged a horse once. Had a scratch like that. Didn't bleed at all. Horses and humans is different. You don't believe I'm guilty, do you, Pinky? Of course not. <laughs> Thanks, Pinky. You hurry and get out of town. Or I have to stand by and watch you commit suicide. No, Pinky. Running away only times a noose around my neck. The only way I can clear myself is to find the guilty ones. And that gold in the express office will be the bait that will help me trap them. Gold's already gone. Gone? It wasn't supposed to have left until tomorrow. Well, the marshal had other ideas. He went along his guard. The marshal? Pinky, I got a hunch that marshal isn't a marshal. Yeah? Yeah. You got a gun I can borrow? Sure. Take your pick. Wow! Holy smokes, Pinky. Where'd you get all of them? Well, I collected it from hombres what kicked off before I could finish picking the lead out of them. <laughs> well, thanks, Pinky. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Hey, take it easy. You don't know this town. They eat their victuals with guns. top of the grade. You know, kid, I've just been thinking. What's the use of playing Santa Claus? What do you mean? Why split the gold four ways when we don't have to? Sure. That's only good arithmetic. Take it easy. Drift down Arizona way and enjoy life. Sounds kind of inviting, kid. I might go along with you. Here they come now. Oh. 
Yeah. Hello, Chief. I see your scheme worked. Without a hitch. Let's have the strong box and we'll be on our way to the hideout. I'm sorry, boys, but the kid here and I have different plans. Give him the whip, kid. No dice, Ted. It's all clear now why you run out on me back home. You framed me. You guessed it, chump. <laughs>
quiet, Pinky. You know, Miss Helen, I was thinking about Sunset. What about him? Well, now that the town's cleaned up, he's figuring on pulling out. Oh. We'll miss him. I'm sorry. You see, I thought, as how you persuade him to stay once, you might be able to do it again. Well, uh, he won't leave without saying goodbye to me. No? Maybe I can persuade him to stay. Yeah? Oh, I forgot to wind the clock. Miss Helen, that's the wrong time. Is it? Ooh! But this is the right time. 